Jeff Howard here at KiteBrain.com. We want to answer another question from our customers that they always call and ask about. And one of those is, I have a four-line bar. Will all the new kites fly on that bar? What if I have a fifth-line bar? Will this work on the kites that I have? Or can I use different bars with different kites? Well, the way I like to answer that is, yes, most four-line bars out there will fly almost all four-line kites on the market. You've got to make sure that they match at least four-line. Now, a five-line system, in most cases, they won't. You've got to remove that fifth line. Uh, some kites have that. Back in the day, they had some that were supported fifth line. And there's still a few out there that use that fifth line for support in the kite, and it really affects how that kite flies. So, if you have a four-line bar, in most cases, it will work with those four-line kites out there. Now, the only difference of what you have to understand is each brand has a different tip such as this one. This is the Cabrina bar. Now the Cabrina, they have pigtails on the end. Now I really like this pigtail system and it's very well used in a lot of the industry, but some don't, but most do. What it is, is they have loops or not, knots at each end that match that particular kite. So, on if you use this bar with a different kite, it is very important to make sure that you get these to line up correctly and match either the front lines or the back lines correctly. So you may have to change these ends and they're very simple to change. These are just larks headed onto the fly lines by removing them just loop on loop. You can see this. Now we carry a set of coop proof pigtail sets that are ready to match the kite to those lines and you can get this full set and easily install them and make them match and make them basically a coop proof where you won't mess up on the connections. We also sell just a standard, what we call a universal pigtail. Now this pigtail can be used in either direction. So you can, you can make them, you can hook this loop into the fly lines on this end and it will make you a loop or you can hook the loop in and make you a knot. And you're going to make some adjustments on here and add knots to these. Now, some kites in the industry also, you may need to preset those pigtails differently. So if I'm matching a Cabrina bar to, let's say, an Airrush kite or a Slingshot kite, it may be different. So you got to make sure that when you first set that kite up and try it out, you got to make sure that you have full range of motion with that bar. When you push the bar away all the way to the end, the back line should go slack. When you pull in, you should be able to power that kite up. If you don't, then you may need to add some pigtails. If you let us know what you need in length, anything up to uh, whatever you may need, a foot to two foot or even less. Sometimes these universal pigtails will get you away with that. You only need about five, six inches. I've seen adjustments all the way up to a foot to get that change of angle of attack correct to fly that bar with that kite, which is fine. Make sure you do not change the lines on your bar to match the kite. Change the pigtails on the kite to match the bar so that you can use that bar with any kite. If you had a Cabrina kite and you switch to a different one, do the adjustment on the kite so you're not doing that adjustment on your bar and it will match all your kites across the line. So let us know on those pigtails what you may need. You can let us know loop to loop, loop to knot, or whatever it is we can make them for particularly what you need. Now, I'm going to show another system here. This is the Air Rush system. This is a really neat system. It's on the Smart Bar. Now, on the Smart Bar, it's really nice. They have their pigtails at the end as well. A nice thing about this is they have no sleeving. It's really nice and clean at the end of the fly lines. And you can change these pigtails out. As the pigtails are the part that wear, they get the sand on them, they get yanked on, they get pulled with sand there, and they lock down tight, and these will wear out. I like this system because as they wear, all you're doing is replacing it with a pigtail. So it takes that wear and tear off these fly lines. These fly lines will last a long time. Because what will happen is at the end of those fly lines, this is on uh, one of the F1 kites, and there's a couple different kites out there that do it this way as well. It's not horrible, but over wear and tear, once this sleeving wears right here, sleeving is there on the fly lines to reduce wear and tear on the most expensive part, which is that spectra. The spectra is what takes the load, but they cannot take the wear and tear. Spectra is very delicate at different times, so you've got to make sure you protect it. So they put the sleeving. The problem is, over time, the sand and everything wears the sleeving out and your spectra is poking through. What I recommend, if you have not cut through that spectra, all you've got to do yeah. is install a pigtail. If it's worn in here and the spectra is fine, 
Spectra on Spectra does not wear. So you want to make sure, get your pigtail set, and install it on there. I, love, I like this idea. This is the best idea. You replace these. These are the parts that wear and tear. So again, if you have something like this, get you a pigtail set. The long term, instead of having each one of these to get this replaced, coming into our shop, it's $5 a line to get re-sleeved and stitched. Why not just buy a set of pigtails that match the kite and uh, you'll never have to do that wear and tear problem or fix that again. So, if you have a four-line bar, it will work on other four-line kites. You may need to make a change of adjustment of angle of attack. Again, you only know that by hooking it up to the kite, pulling back on the bar, and if it takes a full bar push, portion to push it away to get that kite to fly, you need to make some adjustments. You need to let, let the, uh, pull the front lines in or let the back lines out and make, make pigtails to either the back lines or the front lines to make all these adjustments. But preset it. Again, the main thing is don't do the adjustment on your bar. Do the adjustment by putting pigtails on your kite so the bar will work on the kite it was originally on and on the kite you're trying to adjust it to. That's Jeff Howard here at Kiteboarding.com to educate you so you have a great time on the water. You let us know if you have ever any questions about trying to fit anything to anything. We have all the guys down here with all the knowledge and we can get you on the water.